A probability scale is a simple way of showing probabilities. So this video is going to focus on probability scales. Let's draw a probability scale. Now they may not look incredible, but they convey ideas which are incredible. So let's see what they look like. Probability scales always go from 0 to 1. Why do they do that? 0 represents impossible. If something has a 0 chance of happening, that means it's, it will never happen. Whereas 1 represents like 100%. All probabilities add up to 1 in the sense that different events always, say I said uh, the chances of it raining tomorrow is a half, well the chances of it not raining, which is the only other possibility, it will either rain or not rain, is also a half. And if you notice, those both add up to 1. That's why a probability scale goes between 0 and 1. Let's draw a few markers on. Let's call this a half. Let's call this point a quarter and this point three quarters, just so we can gauge roughly where we're at. This would be 0 0.25, which is a quarter. This would be 0 0.5, which is a half. And this point would be 0 0.75, which is three quarters. Now let me ask you about a few different types of probabilities. And you have to guess where they're going to land on the probability scale. OK, let's have some fun. What's the chances if today is the 17th of February, which it is for me, what's the chances that tomorrow would be the 18th of February? Well, the chances are 100%. That is certain. Let's write down the vocabulary beneath. So that would be certain, which is 100%. Where we draw that on the graph is right at 1. So that is certain. OK, how about another probability? What's the chances when I flip a coin, I get a tails? Well, there's two different possibilities, heads or tails. So a tails is 50-50, which is a half. So we draw the arrow right there. Another word for that probability is an even chance. It's even because both the chances are equal. Getting a tails is 50% likely, getting heads is 50% likely. So we say that has an even chance. How about, what's the chances in London for all of 2013 that it will never rain? Actually, you may be thinking zero, but I would say it's just a bit beyond zero because there's a teeny, teeny chance that we might have a year without rain, but it's so close to zero as to be almost exactly zero. So I'm just going to draw it a bit beyond zero. If something had been exactly zero, for example, what's the chances that today I could fly out of my window, fly across the world, and come back after having gone around the whole world on my wings. That's absolutely impossible. So zero represents impossible. Although I have tried, it didn't work. Zero would be impossible. Let's try some trickier probabilities. What's the chances, let's do it in brown, that if I roll a die, which is the single of dice, if I, if I roll a die, what's the chances I get a 1 or a 2? There's six different things I could get, a 1, 2, 3, 4, or f 4 5, or 6, and a 1 or a 2 are two of those probabilities. So we have two different chances, a 1 or a 2, out of six different things that might happen. Two chances out of six, and all the chances are equally likely. We can simplify this fraction, 2 out of 6, to become, if we divide by 2, 1 out of 3. 
and 1 out of 3 means a third. So we go a third the way along our chart. In other words, the chances of getting a 1 or a 2 is more than a quarter, but less than a half. It would be 0 0.33, which is roughly here. Another quick way we could describe probabilities between 0 and 0 0.5 would be unlikely. And chances which are between 0 0.5 and 1 we could call likely. OK, final question. What are the chances that if I roll a dice, I get a number less than 6? A number less than 6. How many different opportunities do I have? Well, I would have 5 different opportunities, because it could be a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, or a 5. All of those are less than 6. That's 5 different opportunities out of 6 different things that could happen. And that is 5 sixths. That's almost 1, but not quite. So I would draw my probability just about there. And that's an introduction to the beauty of probability scales.